This is a very interesting topic, instantaneous center of zero velocity, IC. So what is it? And how to find IC and what are the applications? So before we discuss that, let's talk about what are the benefits of um, instant instantaneous center of zero velocity? Why do we care? So if you remember in our webcast about relative motion analysis, we have derived the equation uh, of relative motion for velocity VB equals to VA plus angular motion omega R B with respect position R with B with respect to A. When to get the velocity of a point B, we need the velocity of point A and angular um, velocity and position vector B with respect to A. Now think of the way if we can find a point A in a body whose velocity is zero, what would become? This equation will be simplified to VB equals to omega in cross product of R vector B A. So this is the potential. If we can found a velocity on the body that is zero velocity, we can use that point as our center of zero velocity and that can give us a velocity of any point uh, on the body and such a point uh, with zero velocity on a rigid body is called instantaneous center of zero velocity the name itself the word instantaneous states that it is validates only for one instance since the body is changing its position from one instance to another so instantaneous center of zero velocity is vo valid for only one instance so let's see an example so let us think of a bicycle wheel uh, which is at this moment in touch with the ground so the point here on the cycle wheel that is in touch with the ground has a zero velocity because the ground at that instant is not moving so at this point we can say the velocity is zero and this point we can take it as a IC so if we know the angular velocity of the wheel IC and if we take any point on the wheel B and if we know the perpendicular distance the relative position this one which can we call R B with respect to IC so if we know these two we can find the velocity of point B as a omega R B I C the velocity VB is the instantaneous velocity and we can say the axis of zero velocity if we take the um, side view of the wheel here so this will, this will be the center of the wheel uh, it is rotating and this is the uh, ground is touching so the axis of zero velocity is perpendicular from the point of IC here now we're gonna define another term which is called centroid so the centroid is if this wheel is moving in this direction so the wheel at instant now here but eventually this point is gonna touch here 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 so all these points is a potential um, IC so the locus point defining uh, the location of IC during body motion is called the centroid so this line would be the centroid so each point on the centroid acts as a potential IC for the rigid body at a given instant finally we're gonna talk about one limitation for of this equation since this equation is very promising we can easily apply this equation to find velocity of any point if we know the angular uh, velocity and uh, position vector RB with respect to IC but um, though the point at IC the velocity of IC is zero the acceleration acceleration is not zero so we cannot use it for 
uh, zero acceleration or um, we cannot use it to find acceleration so that what that was it for um, IC um, next we're gonna cover how to find um, IC that will be a different video thank you for watching